Greetings! Welcome to Law Logical, your one-stop destination for understanding laws in a simplified manner. Today, we're peeling back the layers of a critical issue that plagues our society, the dowry system in India. We'll be exploring the punishment meted out for dowry offenses and also the protection that our laws provide against this heinous practice. So, if you've ever wondered about the legal intricacies of dowry laws, you're in for a treat. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this significant topic. Dowry, a social evil still prevalent in many parts of India, is a significant concern for our society. The dowry system, put simply, refers to the practice of giving gifts, cash or property by the bride's family to the groom's family at the time of marriage. This age-old custom has its roots in the historical context of women being viewed as a burden and men as providers. While it may have started as a voluntary practice, over time it has morphed into a mandatory and often exploitative tradition, varying in scale and form across different regions and communities in India. Today, despite advancements in various fields, this custom continues to persist, fostering a culture of discrimination and violence against women. It's not confined to rural areas or the less educated sections, but is widespread across all strata of society, making it a deeply entrenched issue. The Indian law, however, does not take this issue lightly. If you think dowry can be given or taken without any repercussions, you might want to reconsider. In India, the Dowry Prohibition Act of 1961 stands as the sentinel, guarding against the harmful practice of dowry. This law not only prohibits the exchange of dowry, but it also sets forth stringent punishments for those who dare to defy it. Anyone found guilty of giving or taking dowry, or even aiding in this process, can face a serious jail term. The minimum sentence is five years, but it can extend up to seven years. Imagine that seven long years of freedom lost, all because of a tradition that should have been abandoned long ago. Moreover, the law doesn't stop at imprisonment. It also mandates a fine, which can be up to 15,000 rupees or the amount of dowry, whichever is more. This means that the financial burden could be immense, possibly leading to a lifetime of debt. But the law doesn't just punish the act of giving or taking dowry, it also penalizes the demand for dowry. If anyone is caught demanding dowry directly or indirectly, they can face imprisonment for a term which shall not be less than six months, but which may extend to two years and with a fine of up to 10,000 rupees. The Dowry Prohibition Act further states that any dowry received by any person other than the woman in connection with whose marriage it was given shall be transferred to the woman. If this is not done within the stipulated time, the person may face imprisonment for not less than six months and up to two years, or a fine of up to 10,000 rupees, or both. In addition to the Dowry Prohibition Act, the Indian Penal Code also provides for punishments related to dowry death and cruelty by husband or relatives, further underscoring the seriousness of this issue. While these punishments are severe, the law also provides protection for the victims. Protection under dowry laws is a critical aspect that offers a ray of hope to victims. Now, let's delve into this protective shield, specifically the Dowry Prohibition Act of 1961. This legislation was enacted with the prime objective of safeguarding the interests of women and their families from the devastating impacts of dowry demand. The Act prohibits the request, payment or acceptance of a dowry. If anyone is caught engaging in these activities, they're not only committing an offense, but they're also violating the basic human rights of women. The act is not just about punishment, it's about protection too. It empowers women and their families, giving them the legal backing to stand against such ill practices. What's more, it also provides remedies for the victims of dowry-related offenses. For instance, any dowry given or agreed to be given, whether before or after the marriage, can be recovered by the woman. If any dowry is received by any person other than the woman, it should be transferred to the woman. If such transfer is not made within the stipulated time, the person holding it can face imprisonment and a hefty fine. Furthermore, the Act empowers the courts to issue injunctions to prevent the commission of dowry-related offenses. This means a court can stop someone from committing a dowry offense even before it happens, thereby protecting the potential victim. To ensure the safety of the woman, the Act also allows for the woman's right to reside in the matrimonial home, whether or not she has any right, title or beneficial interest in the same. 
This provision safeguards the right of the woman to reside in her matrimonial home, preventing her from being evicted by her in-laws or husband. Lastly, let's not forget that the Act also provides for the appointment of dowry prohibition officers. These officers are responsible for promoting the objectives of the Act and ensuring its proper enforcement. It is crucial to remember that laws are only as effective as their enforcement. The Dowry Prohibition Act is a powerful tool, but its true strength lies in how well it is implemented and adhered to by society. We hope this video provided some clarity on the punishment and protection aspects of dowry laws in India. To recap, we began by understanding the concept of dowry and its unfortunate prevalence in our society. We then delved into the severe punishments laid out by Indian law for those involved in demanding or giving dowry. Ranging from imprisonment to fines, these stringent measures reflect the seriousness with which this issue is regarded. Next, we discussed the protection mechanisms in place for victims of dowry-related abuse. We highlighted the role of the Dowry Prohibition Act in safeguarding the rights of women and the channels available for victims to report offences and seek justice. It is vital to remember that knowledge is power. Understanding these laws is the first step toward combating the dowry system. Each of us, as responsible citizens, have a role to play in this fight. By standing up against dowry, reporting offenses and supporting victims, we can collectively make a difference. In conclusion, the fight against dowry is not a solitary one. It is a collective effort, one that requires understanding, empathy and action. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Law Logical for your weekly dose of basic law facts and advice. If you have any questions or want us to cover a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.